Hello, 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 hello. Happy Monday. Happy Monday as I sit in snow. You guys, this is insane. It's snowing in April in Chicago. It's snowing, but it's also like the like really bright. You guys, I have like extremely sensitive eyes. I think I need to go to the eye doctor. But anyways, I'm coming to you live from where else? The Starbucks parking lot, guys. Happy Monday morning. How are you? As you can see, I've got real dialed up for all you guys today. No, <laughs> this is a day of, of just like calls. I have VIP sessions. I have, uh, I am doing a, um, I'm hopping into somebody's group and doing some training in there. So it's exciting, but you guys, you want to share this because I'm going to be talking to you about, um, 12 ways to become unstoppable if you face objections in your business. Because I know so many people just clam up when they get an objection. And there's a lot of fear around that. And I'm going to tell you right now, there's no need for that. Nope, there's no need for all of that. So I want to help you today to strengthen um, your business. And, um, And if you're new to me, you know I like to bring all the goods. So as you're hopping on, make sure you say hello. Um, Like I said, I'm coming to you live from Chicago, parking lot of my Starbucks, where it is snowing. Um, So I need to get out of here, you guys. My goodness. I usually do do not come on this early. I'm usually more later in the afternoon. However, this is a good time for me. So um, hello, hello. Hi, Haley. How are you? Hey, Samson. How are you? You guys share this out because I'm going to be talking to you about objections today. And as we know... um, when you run a home-based business, objections are, well, let me just say that very few times, you guys, people will get a 10 out of 10, okay? I'm just saying. Now, at the more you go and you build your business, um, the more yeses you're going to get. Why? Because you're going through the process. You're learning how to overcome those objections, you guys. And so what happens? More people will end up saying yes. The yes the yeses will build your business and the noes will build your character, you guys. Okay. That's something super important. I learned from a mentor. I'm going to say that again. A yes will build, say the yes will build my business and the noes will build my character. Okay. Um, Hey, what's up, Sarah? How are you, honey? All right. So Uh, If you're new to me, I want you to drop me a one. Let me know that you're new to me. I should always turn off these notifications, and I don't. Um, My uh, name is Julie Burke. I'm the founder of createsuccesswithjulie.com, and I really help entrepreneurs, home-based business entrepreneurs, um, build their brand, bring their business online to help really leverage their time, and so then they can go off and live the laptop lifestyle, right? Because that's what we're all in this game for. Um, Yes, we want to create... And, and help people and, and create uh, purpose and impact, but we also want to build our business, uh, at least for me, around my family. And so that's what I help entrepreneurs to, is to do is really uh, leverage their time with online marketing strategies, okay? Um, so I'm also a network marketer, and I build my network marketing business 100% online. And so does my entire team. And we have a system that we plug our team into. So again, just really, really important. Now, I'm going to talk to you about objections today because yes, I get it. Objections are not fun because we feel like we take that personal, but objections um, are not a bad thing. They're really not. And so uh, I I want to give you 12, uh, 12 steps to become unstoppable within the objection. Okay. Does that sound cool? If that sounds cool, give me some thumbs up. Okay. So first off, I know that there's a lot of fear around objections. Now ask yourself why you need to reveal to yourself why, um, you're having this fear. Why is overcoming my fear of rejection important to me? Well, how will overcoming my fear of rejection benefit me? All right. Because that's probably, I would say, here's the thing. I had a mentor say to me, Julie, you can build a network marketing business, a solid network marketing business, if you understand one thing. And I said, what was, what's that? And now this guy bought, built multiple seven figures in this space. And he said, if you know how to overcome objections, if you know how to overcome objections, you can build a huge business inside of network marketing. And so 
I said, okay, thank you. You know, thank you. And let me get busy. Let me, let me start asking more people so I could keep getting the nose so I could start learning how to overcome those objections. Right. And he was right. You know, I built seven figures inside of uh, the network marketing profession and it didn't happen overnight. You guys like, no, 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 no. This took a lot of work. You guys, I've been in this space for six years. It was not overnight success. However, I have sponsored over 500 people into the network marketing profession. But guess what? I've literally talked to thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people. So I've had a lot of no's. It's just that I don't let the no's and the rejections and the objections stop me. I've learned to accept them and learn how to overcome them. So ask yourself in the objection game, okay, so so why? Why, why do you have fear? Okay, now investigate that. Then ask yourself, well, what if? What will be the outcome of your life once, um, once you get comfortable asking for what you want, regardless of the outcome? Who cares? You guys, that person was never yours to begin with. Does that make sense? So no gain, no loss. Like there, there's, you had nothing to gain, so there's no loss to be upset about. Does that make sense? So take a moment and picture how your life would be like once you could get comfortable with rejection. Because that's really all it is, is you getting comfortable with rejection and not taking it personal. So what would happen to you? What would your life look like if you just asked more people like, hey, are you ready to get started? Are you ready to get started, get your pack in three days? two days, one week, whatever. Um, Are you ready to get started on your journey to your weight loss goals that you shared with me? Whatever it is, you got to ask them. All right. Ask, where is the harm? So getting comfortable with rejection becomes easier with practice, right? Just like I said, I didn't, I was not an overnight success. I, I just asked more people and more people said no to me, but eventually I got to my yeses and I've learned how to overcome those objections, right? I learned the right questions to ask that would lead me further to in that conversation to get them to say yes. So practice, okay? Because when you stop asking because of fear and doubt, um, you end up, you end up with those, those, those scrapes, like, right? Like you fall and you just keep scraping yourself. Right. And then you just stay stuck. You don't continue on. And that's no fun. Um, number four, you want to flex your rejection muscle by staying in the game. Most people quit. Most people quit because they get rejections and they go, oh, this isn't for me. To truly grow the I no longer have fear of rejection muscle, it must be used often. Often. So this is where I say you guys accept the objections, ask them, what is holding you back from getting started today? What is the one thing? How can I help support you? How can I help move you forward to your goals? So it's important to learn from each objection so you can refine your skills and in, in your approach the next time. And more importantly, make deeper connections with people. Cause that's what it's really about, it's about making deeper connections, which leads me to Number five, you are your own mirror, right? So when approaching someone new, if you're fearful, if you're self-conscious, if you're intimidated or you're in your own head or you're unsure, you're going to project those same feelings onto the person you're approaching. And, and little to no um, connection will be made. Like little to no connection will be made. So what it, what is that, right? So they feel that they're uneasy. If you don't walk in and you don't have the confidence of what you're selling them into, they're not going to, they're not going to want to join that. Right. So you have to build that. You have to build that conversation to conversation to conversation. The more you practice and collect rejections, the sooner you'll be able to consistently get the desired result. Do you guys understand that? Does that make sense? If that makes sense, drop me yes below if this is making sense to you. So evaluate, okay, because there's two reasons why you're not at where you want to be right now. Number one, you're not doing something right, okay, and that could be you just avoiding asking people getting started because you want to avoid rejection, okay, or 
you're not doing something enough. And that it could again be, you're not asking people to get started. You're not asking people to join you because you have the fear of being rejected. So go back to why, why, Where, where's the fear? Why, what if, where's the harm? You're not going to die if you get an objection. Okay. Just utilize it as a tool to further your success and to get you one step further to your goals. Okay. So look at it that way. You have to shift your thinking. You guys, so, so much of, of what we do as entrepreneurs is mindset. You got to strengthen the mindset. I've done a lot of work around mindset and personal development. It's super important and typically not talked about in this, inside this space. So go back and ask yourself that those questions. And then tell your truth. Always let your prospect know if you are feeling nervous or if you're self-conscious or you're unsure. You guys, if you have an objection and you don't know how to answer it, it is okay to say, you know what? That's a great question. And I want to make sure that I get you that answer. So I'm, I'm going to, we're going to hop off this call or guess what? Do you mind if I maybe pull somebody else into this conversation? If you're on uh, messenger, do a three-way message with your upline. If you're on the phone, um, see if you could reach out to one of your upline leaders, right? Hopefully they're available. So, um, just let them know I'm, I'm new with this. And so I, I'm, you know, I'm learning as I go here and, um, I do want to get this answer for you. It's really important to me. So I'll make sure I'm going to get back to you very soon here. What have you? Let them know. Once you've told them the truth, it becomes easier. It becomes easier for both you. It it becomes easier for both of you, but especially you to relax that you don't have to like be perfect. All right. Number seven, become your own cheerleader because nobody else will. I'm going to tell you that right now. I've had to become my own cheerleader. Yes, I've had a great uh, enrolling sponsor in my last company, my new company. Uh, my enrolling sponsor is absolutely dynamite. But I still have to become my own cheerleader because ultimately, if it's meant to be, it's up to me to build my business. So take off the critic hat and become your own advocate. I'm going to become my own advocate, right? When you get rejected, you're putting sweat into the game. That's all this is. So celebrate and give yourself a pat on the flipping back, right? And get out there and get it done. All right. Eight, daily action wins all the time. I talk about all the time, you guys. Consistency. So it's time to set a daily um maybe rejection goal. <laughs> I know we always talk about IPAs, your income producing activity, but maybe it's time to set the rejection goal. <laughs> right. But let's answer these questions first. So how much success do you want? Okay. How fast do you really want it? And now set the goal at the very minimum, shoot for three rejections a day. Actually make that the goal, the rejections, right? So if you want to become incredibly successful quickly, then choose four to eight rejections daily. And you might become shocked when they say yes, right? And I mean like, when I'm talking about rejections, I'm talking about like doing your follow-ups and having no emotional attachment to the outcome. Does that make sense? That makes sense? Drop me a fist bump below, okay? You guys, I'm I'm telling you right here, I'm giving you a lot of golden nuggets giving you a lot of golden nuggets on exactly what I have done and the, the, the rules I have followed and implemented to build a seven figure business inside of network marketing. So if you find this useful, fist bump me right now. Boom. All right. So another thing that I have done with my team in the past was, uh, practice and rehearse. So There was a saying that we once had in my last company, which was every master was once a disaster. Okay. So say that every master was once a disaster and it's going to take practice to become masterful, right? Again, it's going to take practice to become masterful. Um, so strengthen your rejection muscle. And what you could do is you could get a triad uh, together and practice your approach. 
have them have them throw you an objection and then you learn how to overcome that objection you walk them through it right and again an objection is just the first further the conversation another thing is an objection the very first objection is typically not the objection so you have to kind of start digging a little bit right you got to start digging a little bit and i mean i call people out is that really your objection is that what's really holding you back Because I literally could show you how to get started today and have it not cost an arm and a leg. Because if it's a price thing, then I'm walking walking them through some other options. Um, And usually I'm in a consumable um, product company, which I will only be in a consumable product company. I'm sorry, if you're in a service-based company, I... I like the reorders month after month after month. So I'm in a consumable product. This is how my team is growing so fast. And... um, so most likely they're consuming it, they're utilizing it. So it's just them reallocating expenses and it's not an additional expense. So when they bring me the money objection, I literally say to them, listen, so you could get started for X amount of dollars a day and all we're doing is allocating some dollars so you don't have to go to Walmart and buy it there or you don't have to go to Whole Foods and buy it there. Like we have it right here at your fingertips, boom, 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 click, 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 order straight to your door. So you're just shifting that money. Huge. Huge. So they're like, oh, okay, I never thought of it that way. So if you're in a consumable product um, company, that's how you get over that objection with them. Okay? And I work with them. I don't say you have to get started on our $600 pack if they can't. Why? I want them to get the product in their mouth or on their body or using around their home as fast as possible. Okay, guys. All right. So number 11, be perfectly imperfect. Be perfectly imperfect. You're speaking to a recovering perfectionist. I would always want to be perfect. Don't fall, don't fall into the trap for shooting for perfection, please. Perfection is the stick that we beat ourselves with. All right. Keep it real. Be yourself. And have fun. And remember, it's sorting and sifting process. It's just a sorting and sifting process. Stop holding on to that person with all of your might. If they don't want to do it, they don't want to do it. You can't really strong arm people into getting started, right? So you do the best you can to overcome the objections, to be able to ask the right questions, to listen to what they have to say, and then moving them forward to making the choice that's right for them. That's it. And then 12, every end has a beginning, okay? It's time to take action. No one can do this for you. Take a deep breath, trust yourself, feel the fear and the uncertainty, and go and ask for what you want. And if they say no, celebrate that. Celebrate the success of having received a rejection. And then go ask somebody else. That's it. Okay, so remember that light, that the life of your dreams and the dreams of everyone that that you love comes down to you just failing forward, right? And falling in love with the word no, and it's okay. So people say, Julie, how did you develop in your first year of network marketing, being very new to network marketing, a six-figure business? I didn't care. I didn't care if people told me no. You guys, that understand right now, like I know you're watching me through this phone, virtually, whatever. Um, understand this. Okay. Let me take this off. That is so bright. It's ridiculous. Understand that there is no difference, no difference between me and you guys. Okay. Like me and you, there's none. I promise you, I promise you. I was the girl that like, blew off high school and didn't think she was going to college. So I blew off my ACTs. I got awful score. I was the the girl that thought I wasn't smart enough to become anything. Honestly, I had no, I had zero ambitions when I was younger. Zero, zero. I just wanted to party and have fun. I just wanted to go visit my friends at college and have a good time. And that's what I did. I was like, I'm not college material. Um, I was a girl that got made fun of when I was younger because I was overweight. I was, you know, I had a lot of mindset stuff. I, I watch all my friends go away to the, 
big schools and to go off, become accountants and, you know, nurse practitioners and all this stuff, big financial people, whatever. And I had zero, zero desire to do any of that. So obviously stuff can shift for us in life. And what shifted for me was I finally realized that I wanted to become an entrepreneur. So I bought the franchise. Then I went on and I ended up finishing college. And long story short, um, the only difference between me and you is because through all of it, I've learned how to develop um, a stronger mindset and a backbone. Okay. So even when I was getting laughed at by my best friends, when I entered network marketing and they told me I was in a pyramid scheme and all this stuff, you guys, I was upset and I was hurt. But what it made me do is realize that I had to go off and really study the profession and just blow past anyone that would laugh at me and all the no's, um, and all the objections that I would get. And so people say, how did you grow a six figure business and then multiple six figure figure business the second year? Because I just talked, I just put myself out there. I allowed myself to get scraped. I allowed myself to get bruised. I allowed myself to be said no to. And I, and through the process, I just learned how to become a better listener and how to ask better questions and how to then eventually, um, overcome those objections, the more I, I got them and learn how to and further the conversation. So does that make sense? So there's no difference between me and you. I just learned to fly past it and have it not bother me. Okay. I hope you guys are really hearing me on this and getting this because, um, we live in our own mind and we allow these negative thoughts, these patterns to hold us back. And I'm not saying that every day is rainbow and sunshine for me. It's not, <laughs> but I don't live in that. I don't live in that story very long. I don't live in the existence of having a negative mindset happen to me that day very long. I know how to like snap out of it. Okay. Quickly. Um, so I hope you found value in what I shared with you today because, um, this is this, these were a lot of golden nuggets. If you did, I would love some hearts. If you did, I would love for you to share it because I know I have a lot of network marketers that follow me and I know that you know a lot of people on your team that are being held up by objections. They don't know how to overcome objections. Um, and these little shifts, these little nuggets that I shared with you today can help your team grow, okay? So if you found value, let me know. If you have any questions, let me know, okay? I'm going to hop off now because I got to go get coffee and then I have a two-hour call. So I got to get ready for that. Anyways, thanks for hanging with me this Monday afternoon um, in all the snow I'm having here in Chicago, which totally sucks. <laughs> you guys, I'm so ready for warm weather. Um, all right, you guys, be blessed. Thanks. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.